Hey, welcome to another episode of GeekOutdoors.com. If you're brand new to Linux, then you'll be very surprised by the amount of customization abilities that you have within Linux. Now, in the Windows world, you can also customize your overall user experience. You know, you could download theme packs, icon packs, and so forth. Now, in the Apple Mac OS world, I think those things are actually more limited, but neither one of them will give you the amount of power and flexibility to customize your experience and make it your own. And one of the things that you could do here is you can add docs, specifically Linux docs. Now, the whole idea of docs, it's very popular for people who use the Mac OS operating system. But here in Linux, I'm going to be going over two of them that are extremely popular. So let's go ahead and get into the virtual machine. And so the reason why people like docs, I mean, honestly, it's really pretty. Uh, I'd have to just say that it looks really good because here the panel or dock that it's on default, it's kind of bland. Okay. So the two that we're going to download are going to be docky and Cairo doc. Okay. I already have them downloaded, but what you would do to download them is go to administration software manager. And they are very small programs. So these are very lightweight as well. So the first one is Docky. Just go ahead and click on it. And then after that, install it. Then the second one is Cairo Doc. And you would do the same thing here. Okay. Now, before you actually start up these docs, just realize that default, they're going to be put down here. Okay. And you already have your existing panel here. So what you want to do first is move your panel away from this section. So what you would do is right click on your mouse, modify panel, move panel, and then just move it here. Okay. And once you've done that, right click on your mouse, panel settings, and then do auto hide. Okay. So then you only have it show up whenever you want it to. Okay. So now let's go ahead and start with docky. So go here, Go to my menu and Docky is underneath accessories and Cairo Doc is under administration. So we'll start with Docky. And what Docky is, it's really a simple, basically application launcher and also shortcuts as well. Now, the only thing I do not like about this is the fact that they don't have a menu option here where I could add this menu launcher. You know, if you know how to do that, if you are a Linux user, please let me know. So here, it's a very simple premise. You're just going to put stuff down here that you like to use. And as you can tell, it looks already looks better than your default panel. So if you click on this little docky symbol, you'll come up with the settings. Okay. Now, one of the things you could do is you could start this docky program every time your computer starts up. You could go ahead and click on this if you want that to be an option. Secondly, you could change the themes. You know, there's a classic, which is the default. I like air. There's glass. HUD, you know, smoke and so forth. Okay. My favorite one is uh, air. Okay. So another thing you could also do is you could add docklets. Okay. So it, what you want to do is highlight it first to where it's green. And now you could add different docklets, which are pre-built shortcuts or programs. See, so the ones that are already here right now, they are in color. Okay. These are the docklets that I've already added. I have three docklets. And here, this one just shows whatever windows are open, you know, so I'm in my software manager and it's right down here as well. So if, for example, I want to add a weather docklet, I just highlight it and then press plus and bam, it's right there. And similarly, I could also add something else like a workplace switcher. I add that as well. And so these are the available docklets. Now, there's also additional docklets, but I don't know if that's even working anymore. And there's also another thing called helpers, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't work anymore with this version of Linux, but you really don't need to get into that, okay? So, you could also change this right here. Now it has a different look, it's a 3D look, which is more akin to the Mac OS operating system. And you could also make it like a panel as well, like a standard panel, it just looks better. See? So that's more like a default panel right there. Okay, so, but I like this one better. Okay. 
And what you could also do is you could also change it to auto hide, intel hide, and window dodge. I just leave it on all the time. Okay. And you could also add new docs as well. So if you click on new docs, you choose where you want it. Okay. So you can put it up here. And just note that when you have more than one doc, whatever is highlighted, that's actually the one that you're editing. So see here, it doesn't show any of these docs because I don't have anything there. But if I click down here, see, now it's showing this one. Okay. And then if you wanted to remove a doc, you just highlight it, delete the doc. Okay. Now you could also increase the icon size and the zoom rate of this, but I just like it here on default. So what's next is how do you add more applications to this? Well, initially I thought I could just open up a program that I like, and I thought I could just drag it down here. And when I used Docky in the past, I was able to do that. But in this case, it doesn't work. Okay. So there are a few ways that you could add an application. The easiest way I think is just go ahead and start whatever program you want. So let's go ahead and start our Firefox browser. And you'll notice it shows up here. All you have to do is right click on your mouse, pin to dock. Okay. So now if you close this application, it's still there. Okay, and then similarly, if I went to the software manager and I closed it, you know, it's no longer there. Now, another way you could add it there is if you already have something on your desktop. Okay, like for example, let's say I had a program like Pix. Actually, let me right click on it, right click, add it to desktop. So now it's on my desktop. If it's on the desktop, you could actually drag it and see now it's added to the dock. So I'm not sure why it didn't do that just by going through applications. I'm thinking it has something to do with cinnamon. Um, that's what I'm thinking, which is the desktop environment that I have by default on Linux Mint. So that's one way you could add. Okay. Or actually two ways, but the easiest way I recommend open up the application and then pin to dock. Okay. So what if you wanted to remove an item? Well, all you have to do is just move it, boom, and it's gone, okay? So the program's not gone. It's just that whatever shortcut that you wanted down here, it's gone. And that's it. That's Docky. I think it's a really cool program. It's simple to use, and it's fast, okay? And it looks way better than your default panel. So let's go ahead and quit that one, and let's move on to something more advanced. So what you do here to quit it, right-click on your mouse, quit Docky. And there it's gone. So the second doc that we want to talk about is Cairo doc. And this is for people who really enjoy customizing things. It's way more advanced than Docky. And very similar look and feel. But when you right click on your mouse, then you go Cairo doc. Wow, more options come up. You could also do the same thing. You can launch on startup. Let's go ahead and go to configure. And as you can see, there's way more options here. Okay, so I'm not going to go over every single option. What I'm going to do is go over some of the high points. Okay, so the first thing is I want to change the look and feel of this. Okay, so I would go to themes. And there are a variety of themes built by users. And if you see one that you like, all you do is click on apply. So I'm going to say this one. All you do is click, click on apply and it'll download the theme. Now here's the thing. If the theme actually comes with its own launchers or any other default items, it'll do that as well. It'll install that or set it up as well. However, you don't have to do that. But I'm going to show you what happens whenever you install a new theme with whatever theme or behavior that it has. Okay. So let's go ahead and apply this. And it'll ask you if you want to do that. Go ahead and press check mark. And it'll go ahead and start making changes once the theme is downloaded. And obviously, once you've already downloaded, you don't have to download again and it will be available. Okay, so as you can see, the theme has been loaded. And wow, it looks really good. And as I stated earlier, if it has any custom options, like for example, it has additional launcher up here, 
and it has these additional widgets which I'll go over it adds those as well so whenever you're installing themes and if you don't want any of those default things that come with the theme you could always uncheck the box okay now that's a really good looking theme now the one theme that I think a lot of people would want to put on there is the Mac OS theme and so I'm gonna go ahead and apply that too there it is now I have the Mac OS theme and it has a little watch widget which I will go over as well so let's go back and go over the configuration or actually let me see if the appearance right here okay so on the appearance you could change a few things the first thing is you could change how this dock looks okay so this is a 3d plane I could do a curve so it now has a curve look I could do a panel like this which is disorienting <laughs> and there's even a weird one called parabolic but I don't like that for the actual dock itself there's rainbow which is also not very usable then there's slide and so see when you put down your mouse it just hovers and appears so I myself you could also use the default very simple and clean but I myself I actually like the 3d plane very uh, Mac OS like okay so now I'm back to my default theme and like I said there are so many options that you can have right here you could also actually add additional docs as well so if you right click and then you can add a doc so you could add a main doc sub doc and this is something that you're really gonna have to play with so it's actually something that you could really get lost in you know so you could add something like let's add this screenshot applet and then then add it to the right place let me add this right here add a custom launcher and what launcher would I like well let's add pics can I add it here there it is so that's a new item and so I have a new dock up here but I think it's really confusing for you to have more than one dock but for some people they might want that but if you want to get rid of the dock just right click Cairo dock delete this dock and then it's gone so let's go back to the settings once again go back to configure now you can also do things such as short keys as well I don't do any of that now there are other things that you could do in this for example you could go to advanced mode meaning the view I like this better so everything's all in one place okay it's easier in my opinion to uh, manage everything like I said this is a pretty complex docking system so you could spend pretty much hours just playing around with this okay so I'm gonna go to simple mode so those are the primary things in the settings menu there are a lot of things that you can do uh, but that's why for people who are power dock users this is a better option okay so let me show you how you can actually add different launchers here and it's the same as Cairo dock okay so if I already had a program open just like uh, docky I'm sorry not like Cairo dock like docky let's go for it. this hex chat now it's open I could also right click on my mouse hex chat make it a launcher you know so there it's there now it's just similar to the whole pin to dock option that docky had and then if I want to remove it right click on my mouse remove and it'll confirm that you want to remove it and it's gone very simple or you could also drag and drop it if it's on the desktop or if it's in a folder menu and there you go and so that is the whole tutorial of Docky and Kyra Doc. and as you see if you wanted to you could really get in depth especially with Kyra Doc on what you can do but the level of customization as I stated earlier in Linux it's entirely up to you and I like these because you know they just make your operating system look better 
And then at the same time, if you spend a lot of time customizing the rest of it, the rest of your theme, you could make this as unique as you want it. Okay, so it's built just for you. So that's it for this episode. If you had any thoughts on these docs that I talked about or any other docs in Linux or other customization tools, be sure to leave them in the comments area below. And as always, if you did get a lot of value out of these videos, leave a like and subscribe. And if you wanted to support my channel further, you could do that at patreon.com forward slash geek outdoors. Thanks for checking out this episode. And as always, if you like these videos, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And for full written content, audio content, and additional geek stuff, head over to geekoutdoors.com. And I'll see you outdoors on the very next episode.